My name is Eric. I am the founder of Boost. Boost is Twilio for machine learning. Basically, training a machine learning model is surprisingly easy. There's tutorials out there, but productionizing said model is notably difficult. And it's because the ML ecosystem lacks a established dev friendly platform. So in payments, PayPal made way for Stripe. In production app hosting, AWS made way for Heroku. And we have SageMaker as the most robust uh, system for productionizing an ML model, but there really lacks a dev friendly solution. So the challenge is to becoming an AI company is that you need an extremely niche skill set in order to build your stack and home grow your serving solution. There's really no best practices. Most companies I talk to do it differently. Uh, so they're hiring two to 10 full time engineers. They're fighting an uphill battle with poor unit econ. And then lastly, in the world of GPD-3, where the models are physically larger than the servers they could run on, it's just a total step change when it comes to how difficult it is to run these models. So basically, only the tech giants can do it. Boost is democratizing production machine learning with a single line of code. It's simply boost.run. So rather than going through the standard six-month process of meeting with ops, talking with the machine learning team, getting those meetings set up, prototyping servers about four or five different times, uh, ultimately to just throw money into GPUs on a horizontal scaling and say, okay, it's out, this is good, we'll fix it later. Boost is simply a copy paste. Traction so far includes three live APIs. I have 15 weekly active users. So that's derivative apps in production using Boost. I've handled 32,000 API calls over the last two months. And currently I'm running at one model inference per second. So that's 120 inferences just in this two minute pitch. Recently started monetizing at 1.1 MRR, though it is usage based. So projections look like they'll hit above 3K MRR at the end of the month. Calls per week are growing. Uh, since November, I've gone from zero to 11,000 calls in a week. I believe that the future software of 2020 is going to be very ML forward, very defined by machine learning models. So the next Google can be powered by a boost. I'm raising a million dollars to make this happen. This gives me 18 months of runway, allows me to expand the team to five and hit 1 million ARR. My contact info is right there. Happy to take questions. Awesome. Um, well, first off, congrats on the progress. Um, I think I'd love to hear more about just how you think about like talking a little bit more about your customers and how they're using mm -hmm. the product today. And if you know more about kind of what they're using the current models. Yeah. For. Yeah. So the, the emerging use case I've seen, I guess, for perspective, I have three APIs up. One is GPT-2 following the GPT-3 wave. Uh, second is a custom trained GPT-2 model for blog generation, long form content. And thirdly is a clip API, which is image classification. And that blog model is really the hot topic right now. I'm finding a niche where people want very specifically tailored content. So they need a retrained model. So they come to boost despite having open AI as a potential option. Um, on the user front, I've had a surprising amount of ML savvy people. In fact, the, my main customer is led by an open AI researcher. So they're, they're, they're not new to this domain. It's just, they don't want to hand roll the infrastructure themselves. Uh -huh. And how do you think about um, almost, you mentioned that you have three models today. How do you think about expanding that suite? Um, and is it mainly going to be almost like pre-trained out of the box models or would you provide yeah. information as well? So contrary to the open AI angle, I don't really believe in the whole one model that uh, rules them all sort of approach. So currently I do have pre-trained models up for free. I'm monetizing custom trained models. And in the future, I'd actually like to take somewhat of a, a, I'll call it an affiliate marketing play where I go to a publisher, an ML researcher who has a GitHub repo, and I have them embed a deploy on boost button on their site, do a revenue share with them. So that allows me to essentially crowdsource the best and most recent models without additional effort on my end. So I would like to ultimately go through that eventually implement a training pipeline to help people fine tune these models. But for now, it's just pure serving existing models. Uh -huh. Very cool. And then are there any, I guess, are there any customers that have, the way they're using your APIs, it's surprised you? Off of the top of my head, I'll honestly say no on that one. Uh -huh. um, the, the one story I can think about um, was a user, I had spent an entire month building out a, a very extensive, like, 
fine tuning feature on top of the model and they ended up not using it. So um, basically there's, there's been a lot of trial and error. And when it comes down to it, the core, the core thing that I'm providing is speed to aha, just the simple, um, you know, copy paste the code and you're up and running. Yep. Very cool. And then uh, last question, how do you think about kind of with the raise, thinking about expanding the business and like really acquiring net new customers and mm -hmm. thoughts on strategies there? Yeah. So really it's, it's, it's come down to dev time. I have a backlist of five different companies who are wanting to get on top of boost. Um, so most of the raise is going towards hiring. Um, and also just increasing the robustness of the product from both a availability and dependability sense, as well as the unit economic side. So that's going to be the main focus for the next year and a half. Cool. Very cool. Congrats on the progress. And I'll Thank definitely you. share with companies in our, in our world to start using you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If they, if they take longer than five minutes to get it up and running, I'll buy them a coffee. Yep.